Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Um, big day in the world today, and I want to go over it, and I want to talk about the economic implications that could be happening in the next few weeks, and I want people to be heads up, really be aware. Um, so this is Europe, and if you remember um, some of my thesis for the dollar whippet theory, I speak about Europe, and I personally believe, and don't take this as trading advice, I'm not a financial advisor, just to do with a bro hawk and a dream. But I believe that we're going to see uh, Europe uh, collapse first. Um, and within a couple, two to three weeks, it'll be the U.S. when it finally goes. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go tomorrow, next week. But what I do believe, and, and first off, let me uh, emphasize, the reason why I believe it's going to happen so quickly from Europe to the U.S. when this uh, collapse finally does happen, the next crash in the economy, the next normal crash, remember, we talk about economic cycles seven to ten years uh, larger cycles are uh, 50 to 100 years and the reason why they're gonna happen so quickly between those two countries is because how integrated the banking systems are all right so what is happening right now you notice here Austria national na nationwide vaccine mandate announced lockdown reimposed now they're talking about Austria obviously having a national mandate and uh, I believe it's the first uh, country in Europe and so the deal is is that I don't think it's going to go over that easy to be honest with you and to cite something over here uh, in Rotterdam there are riots like crazy and I've got some other photos let's see if they show some other photos here we've got videos I'll play this for a second Now, obviously, this doesn't tell you a whole lot. It's just a car on fire and about 20 people around. What I usually look for is the amount of people. Hopefully, I'm not blowing you guys out with that. I apologize if I did. My point being is that um, that's a pretty good clip of people, but when you go over to look at these shots over here, this is pretty impressive. There's a lot of people gathering. There's a lot of people upset. And I believe that what you're going to see in the near term, in the next two weeks, is a lot of unrest in Europe. And as Europe goes into a lockdown, another one, I want to say it's I want to say it's the fourth, but I could be wrong. This is going to drastically affect the economy. But what it's really going to do, it's going to affect algorithms, trading algorithms on the stock markets. And it's going to affect the perception of the average everyday trader in the economic markets. Okay. You know, I believe that 90% of the moves in, in markets are, due base, are based off of emotions and not realities, not truths. And that's why I think it's so important to become a, a successful investor, entrepreneur, uh, human being, is to get control of our emotions. And so what I want you to do, and I'm going to give you some practical advice, uh, not financial advice, just practical human being advice, is that we need to be um, constantly watching the ever-changing markets. I do not believe this is going to be the big one. But what I do believe is going to be the precursor. I believe um, that... It is going to cause enough disruption in the next month that we very well could see uh, it trickle into the U.S., into our equity markets as well, and more stimulus need to be added. Now, that's not going to happen soon, but here's the practical advice. Europe is a trading partner. Obviously, we have problems with our, uh, our supply chain. If it gets bad enough to where the lockdowns don't just stay in Europe, but they start to migrate. It would be wise, and as Ninja Nation, and I would appreciate it if you would hashtag Ninja Nation in the comment section below. And the reason why is because we want to think about things ahead of time, think globally, and then think nationally. Then we think about our, our communities, right? We bring it down to that, that we go big in our thinking and then we take it down to the smallest bit, our community, and then we can be prepared ahead of time. Remember, the, I'm not telling you to go out and hoard things that you need, but what I am telling you is this. The supply chain is very fragile. 
it needs time to heal. When a bunch of people run out and buy twice the amount of toilet paper they need, and I only always give toilet paper as an example because it's still burnt into our eyes, the uh, the lines of toilet paper in the spring. Um, but when uh, you go out and get it ahead of time, you allow the supply chain to heal itself and a truck to come and bring more stuff for the eventual crowd, the 99% of the people that will run to the store and go get something out of fear and desperation. But Ninja Nation is not about that. It is about being prepared and not scared. And then we position ourselves to be able to profit and to help people. Honestly, that's it. But the honest truth is you're probably going to be profiting more than helping people because most people don't want to be helped. Now, with that being said, please share these videos. Please get them out. If you haven't subscribed and you've been watching this channel, it would be awesome if you would consider hitting that button, hitting that bell notification because it helps the algorithm get more of this information out. I want to bring common sense, compassion, and planning to a million people, and I want to make a million people a million dollars, and not because I know of some super sweet stock trade or the next hot crypto. It's because I'm going to teach people how to be prepared, how to be meek, and how to pounce when it's the opportune time when everybody else is scared. You're running around picking up the houses at rock bottom prices. You're picking up your dream vehicles at rock bottom prices. You're enjoying uh, the the opposite side of the cycle, whereas all your friends were um, enjoying, you know, what is it? Uh, they were enjoying, you know, the upside. Oh, look at my car is going up in value, and I I paid fifty grand. It's worth sixty because of inflation. Or I bought this house, and it's blowing up in value because BlackRock's buying up all of the real estate. On the flip side, on the downside of any market is where you become wealthy not on the upside. So again, I want you to watch these shutdowns as the mandates come in and as these uh, riots start to pop out more and more and, and, and realize in the next couple weeks we could see, we could very well see another big turn. I'm gonna play this real quick as we close. Man, I don't know why this stuff is turned up, I apologize. Imagine this getting worse and moving all throughout Europe. So with that being said, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the like button. I really appreciate it. The Economic Ninja is out.